you know, what, I, what I'd like to do is put uh, last week's game to bed. That's what we normally do, and that's the reason we always practice the day after the game is to go ahead and evaluate it, critique it, uh, make the corrections we need to make, and then uh, do what we need to do to get ready for the following week. Uh, I think the worst thing in the world is play on Thursday and not uh, clean it up and kill it till uh, Monday. So, uh, obviously, we try to get rid of it as quick as we can, whether we win, lose, or draw. But uh, first of all, I'd like to say a big thank you to our uh, – student body, to our fan support, to our former letterman, to all people that love ETSU football for the great, great uh, crowd that we had last Thursday night. Uh, what a great, great night for college football and a great night for ETSU football. Obviously, uh, standing room only. And uh, like I said, if you didn't get a ticket, you were going to sit in the cut suit. And I think probably several people did do that. But, uh, uh, you know, the, looking at our, the game, uh, I'll talk to you about it in general, and I'll give what I call the good, the bad, and the ugly. Uh, first of all, I didn't think our kids were uh, 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 exasperated by playing in front of that crowd. I thought they responded very well. Obviously, they looked like they were well coached. They did what we needed to do, especially since we had about a nine-play minute, nine-minute drive uh, to begin the ball game, and I thought that said a lot about uh, the preparation of our young men, uh, what Michael Kane and Billy Taylor did with both offense and defense. And obviously, our special teams were uh, solid, weren't great, uh, but we had some good things happen. Uh, the good of the game, obviously, the first nine minute drive was uh, outstanding. You know, just to be able to push it down the field, I'll, we'd have liked to have gotten seven points out of it. We only got three, but still, we ran a lot of the first quarter off the clock. and. We felt like going into the ball game. the only way we were going to have a chance to, to do what we needed to do was run some time off the clock. So we were able to do that. But uh, you look at it, I thought uh, Austin and uh, Nick both made some good throws and, and did some good things to get the ball down the field. Uh, Juwan Stenson uh, was our most productive running back. Uh, but I thought some of the other ones ran well when they had some room to run, had uh, some really nice catches by Drake Powell and also Anthony, uh, Demetrius Anthony. So those two guys will help us. The great thing about it, and I keep saying it, uh, I don't use it as an excuse, but uh, if you look at all those guys were freshmen or redshirt freshmen, which is exciting to know because those guys are going to be back a long time. Uh, defensively, early, I thought we played well. We did what we wanted to do early in the fact that we stopped the fullback. We felt like going into the ball game that we were going to have to stop the fullback. We did that. But I thought they did a really nice job getting on the perimeter. They had an experienced quarterback uh, that I think gave us some problems and knew what he was doing with, with their offensive attack uh, uh, once they got the ball. If you look at it, the same thing that most wishbone teams do. They get you going east and west, chasing down that quick pitch to the sideline, quick snap, and trying to basically get you tired. And then if the offense, if you're not able to control the football and get yourself off the field, Normally what happens in the third and fourth quarter is exactly what happened, and that's when we got tired. We missed a lot of tackles. Uh, you know, I call it good points and bad points. I, I think they probably had, uh, in my opinion, 28 good points, and they had 28 bad points for us, things that we did that uh, we could have uh, kept them doing. You know, we had an interception for a touchdown late in the first half that really, really uh, hurt, but it didn't take the wind out of our cell. I thought our guys responded and came back the second half and uh, went in halftime, and they weren't down in the dumps or anything like that, so that's a good thing. But that one, and then uh, they had an interception the second half that they went down, and uh, Demetrius Anthony made a great, great play just to keep them out of the end zone, but they did score on that drive. Uh, they had one long run that we had, I think, six missed tackles on the same play for about a minus five play and all of a sudden he's down the field and next thing we know they're in the end zone and they had uh, a long run after the catch which they got us in a one-on-one -on -one situation so in my opinion they got 28 points credit to them but uh, obviously things that we can do better to make sure that those don't happen again uh, after watching film I do compliment them I thought their offensive line was really really nasty in a positive way they weren't, weren't dirty they were uh, played hard they chopped they cut they got in second level they got your feet uh, uh, athletically, they were really, really good, and I think they had a lot to do with uh, the outcome of the game. But uh, you know, I thought our young men competed very well. Uh, I, the, the things defensively we got to improve on are number one, eliminate the big play, and number two, we got to tackle better. We said that going into the game. I mean, we had to eliminate the big play and tackle well. If we do those, we have a chance to win. We didn't do those, so that was the reason that the score was like it was. And, Offensively, the uh, the two interceptions were big plays. One could not have been uh, – they just made a great play on the one on the uh, – basically the little screen that we threw down there on the goal line that they had a 
defensive tackle that kind of read it out and just uh, happened to be at the right place at the right time. So uh, the other one that was played that shouldn't have happened. Uh, I think the second half offensively we were not able to get – we did a pretty good job converting on third downs. I think we were 9 out of 17, which is really, really outstanding. But uh, we were not able to convert on – third downs when we needed to to keep our defense off the field to give them a chance to rest. So that, that hurt us some. Kicking game, uh, you know, our field goal kicker did a really good job. Uh, we had a chance to have two of them blocked. We got to do a better job of showing up our protection for sure. But uh, I thought he kicked it very well into the uh, in, in the uh, field goals. He had three, I think, two, a 36, a 38, and then a 47. Uh, so he kicked the ball well. Dominique Williams, our kick returner, you know, just a little bit here and there, he had a chance to break a couple, which I, I think you'll see him do that. He's got a chance, I think, to be a really, really good kick returner for us. So, uh, punter uh, had some really nice punts. He had some punts that uh, we down within the 20, which is a good thing, but he did, he does need to be more consistent on getting the distance on it that we want to get. But, you know, overall, I, I felt like uh, after the game, the, the young man, we, we lined up in the right place. We did the right things. We got a lot of things to work on. Uh, but uh, we'd have had that anyway. Uh, we'd have liked to have not had the score as lopsided as it was. And uh, if you look at it, the first half with about two minutes to go in the half, we're ahead. And then all of a sudden, we're behind 14 to 13. And then, boom, 30 seconds, 30 seconds later, we're behind by a touchdown. So that hurts. So uh, those were the things that I felt like going into the game, out of the game. Y'all heard me last week. Uh, it basically held true. You know, they were. Uh, like I say, we gave up some big plays on uh, defense, and we didn't tackle as well as we need to, especially the second half offensively. We turned the ball over a couple times, and uh, we said we couldn't do that. So because of that, that was the reason the score was like it was instead of a 21-13 game or maybe even a 28-13 game. But uh, it doesn't matter. A loss is a loss. And um, I think our young men responded very well. They came back the next day and worked hard in the weight room. and. Uh, getting where they need to be, and I feel like we've had a good week of practice so far this week. So this is our second day. I mean, we're just about, you know, got the hay in the barn right now, so it's uh, basically time to play again. So uh, going into Maryville week, uh, Maryville will be a, a tough test for us. They, they had a big win last week and scored a lot of points. They've got a quarterback and a running back that are really good players. Both of them are experienced players. I think the, the running back gained over $1,000 last, last year. Uh, quarterback's returning starter. He's got a good head on his shoulders, throws the ball well, but uh, very nifty uh, after, you know, if he gets scrambling around. So those are two guys that we really got to be concerned about. Uh, their offensive line uh, will do a good job. Defensively, they got uh, two safeties back and a couple of linebackers that uh, understand the game, are very experienced players, and have played well. And, uh, you know, Say what you want. Uh, they'd like nothing more than to come up here and, and beat the ETSU Bucks, and they'd like nothing more than to beat Coach Raider and Coach Brumman on top of it. So, you know, there's a lot of things going on this week. Uh, the only thing we're concerned right now is getting our first W. And uh, the improvement I've always said, everybody says, you should make your most improvement from game one to game two. And uh, so this is game two, so this is a week that we need to make a lot of improvement. We came out of the game fairly injury free, uh, so that's a plus. Uh, we have had two really, really good days of practice. I think our young men will respond really well to, to what's getting ready to happen. Uh, but, you know, the, the thing that I would say to our fan base is that, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's not going, things are not going to happen overnight. You've got to stay with us and be excited about it and uh, let those young men know that we're behind them. And I think we've done that, and I think our uh, fans are doing that. Uh, and uh, if they'll continue to do that, I don't have any doubt that we'll get better each week as a football team and be where we need to be at some point.